returnable. This is Cornelius. Looking for one more block. There is a flag. Actually, two of them. Back here at the 20 and the 23-yard line. Probably going to go against Florida for an illegal block, which is going to start them in bad field position on their first offensive possession. Three-man defensive line right away for Alabama. They've been going to this more often. D'Amico Ryan's coming. Here is Lee. Pressure from the back. Fumble. Got him. Fumble. Florida recovers. Tyrone Prothrow, the punt return specialist, the speedy wideout at the 50-yard line. And you want to get his hands on the ball right now with good position. This one nice and high and very effective. Prothrow grabs it, fumbles as he is cut down. And the ball is recovered well, by Florida. It. Because of the fumble by Prothrow, they have flipped the field position completely. Instead of punting from their own end zone, they're punting from midfield. Urban Meyer said after the game in Tennessee against Tennessee, we are a field position team. That's our identity. Now Prothrow calls for the fair catch, grabs it safely. Brody Croyle, injury-scarred career, healthy now after missing nine games with a knee injury last year, off to a good start in 2005. Play fake, Croyle, the senior, wants to go deep for Prothrow, who's down there. He's got it, and he is gone. No flags. Couple of close calls here. He's 0 for 3, but the uh, interception streak remains intact. This one batted as well, and it's intercepted. Chris Harris has got a blocker, and he is down to the one yard line. Brody Coyle hands it off to Ken Steele. Touchdown, Alabama. Eric Wilber on the punt, Tyrone Prothrow, good and bad so far in this game. He uh, bobbled the first punt of the day, and here's, this was shanked off the right side. It, uh, it hit a Gator. It's kicked by the Gators. The NFL today, tomorrow on CBS. First down, Coyle back to throw for the second time. Flips it perfectly. Ken Darby out of the backfield. Nice touch on that pass. 6 to 7, but 87 of those came on one play. Here's Darby. Darts right. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. Breaks through a tackle. Hold. Christensen is 5 of 7 for the year. Won the uh, kicking battle in a showdown with Ryan Saxby. Matt Miller is the holder. Third generation football player for this team. And the kick is good. Leak still has it, and he is hauled down up around the shoulder pads at the 35-yard line. Eric Wilbur has been ineffective. It's a fake. There's Earl Everett on the end around the linebacker, and boy, they going to catch him. Oh. Wow. Everett, what a gutsy call by Urban Meyer. His team needs a boost. They need something positive to happen. Played high school ball in Plano, Texas. Was recruited initially for TCU by Dennis Franchone. Here's Leak. He's got room. And he's going to be very close for the first down at the 22-yard line. Three defensive linemen, but all those linebackers up close to the ball. Not showing their hand until the ball snapped. And they bring three, essentially. There's the toss to Jackson. Great and he block. weaves his way. Yes, indeed. Great block by Kenneth Toots. This is Tate Casey in motion. They give it to Deshaun Wynn. And he moves uh, inside the five near the four-yard line. The tackle made by Juwan Simpson. Third and goal. Four wides. Wynn alongside Leak. This is Jamel Cornelius. He's the option man. They pitch it to Jackson coming near side. And Jackson is caught the one. It'll be fourth down. You went for the fake punt. You've had a great drive. You need to pay it off with a touchdown. Billy Latsko in motion. Deshaun Wynn follows Latsko, and he did not get it. Goal line stand. Alabama. Both 
of these teams dominating time of possession over the course of the first four games. This Coyle comes all oh, missed. Oh, no. Did he get it? Pro throw. Did he get it or They're no? They're calling it a catch. They sure are. You can't kind of. You either did or you didn't. <laughs> Play fake. Coyle. Got it. And survives a pop. LaRon McClain did a fine job to hold on to the ball. This is kind of an old-fashioned pro-style offense. Here's Play fake. Coyle under some pressure. Sidearms it. Pro throw. A tip and a catch. Well, that's, that's minor league compared to one of the catches he had earlier this year. He's got four. Second down, draw play. Darby, look at that nifty move. Now he's got a blocker down. Look at that niftier move. Flag is down. It's going to come back. And they've got a second down and short. And there is Jeremy Mincy making a tackle, but it appears to be another first down. You know, I, just, I had to smile when I saw the final score. Coyle's back in now. Under some pressure, sacked. Yeah, Brandon Seiler got in there on a blitz. Wind aided, we might add. Now yeah, this one sends Brown back to the 16-yard line, but certainly returnable. And Brown... Trying to get around the corner, does. Fine open field tackle. The crowd at that end thought there was an illegal block in the back. Chris Leak, only one for seven for one yard and an interception. And again, the three-man line, they bring only three. Leak goes deep, got a man wide open. That's Dallas Baker still running inside the 25-yard line. And on fourth down, Chris Hetland is on to attempt a fourth. 37-yard field goal. He's perfect so far this year. This to get Florida on the board. Looks good. And is. LeRon McLean is in now, along with Brody Coyle. First down, 17-3. to three. Beautiful. Nifty pass. See him. Keith Brown. Great speed. Touchdown, Brown. Mike Price resigned because of a scandal. Shula came into his alma mater. He's 14 and 15. This would even his record. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Prothrow. There's a... There he goes. There's a flag. This is going to come back. This is going to come back for a penalty that had nothing to do with the return. It was out of the play. Their alma mater's winning or have won... I can't wait for the next time we go back and you have the Texas Lutheran University score. <laughs> this one down at the 34. You've been dominated, but a score here can give you some momentum to go into the locker room with. Leak lobs it, caught. Chad Jackson. That's a first down and fine play on yep. first down and 10. My, how this uh, Alabama defense has improved in the last three years oh for this group. They were uh, woeful in that first year, and Joe Kimes was on the hot seat. And now he doesn't have to make a dinner reservation in Tuscaloosa. He is 8 of 10 for 219 yards. There's a reverse to Tyrone Prothro. Gets by Jeremy Mincy. And moves out, I think it's Jarvis Herring who finally caught up with him. That's the answer to the Aflac trivia question. Tim Castillo gets the first down. Momentary stoppage of the clock while they reset the chain. Dave Rader was talking with us, the offensive coordinator, about power football. He said, I'm not sure if it's the Alabama mystique, it's Mike Shula's philosophy, but power football is certainly who we are. There's the catch. is made at the 49-yard line. Number four, Tyrone Prothrow. Prothrow, four catches for 119 yards. Had the big one of 87 yards. Here comes the blitz. Coyle sets up to go deep left side. There's a penalty. He Keith Brown. It. Yep, he grabbed it. There it comes. It took a while. Well, he wanted to make sure it was a catchable pass, I think, for one. And Alabama came back and won handily in the fourth quarter. Here's Coyle. Throws it out. Caught by LaJuan McLean. Oh, ripped the ball out. Yep. Florida's got it. Ball is loose. 
How many Brandon times Tyler's has got it? See a guy fighting for extra yardage, and defenders come around and rip the football out. Florida is one of nine on third down. And Chris Leak only five of 15 throwing the football. Into the right side. Catch is made by Jamel Cornelius, and another flag is down. That one also on the near side of the field. Illegal motion on 81 and 84 on the offense, both for moving without getting set. Penalty five yards. They've hit the running backs. They have been the faster, more physical, more aggressive football team here in the first half and deservedly have a three-touchdown lead. D'Amico Ryans has led the way for this Joe Kynes defense. But Alabama averaged 10 yards a play thanks to those big pass plays. On second down, Darby weaving his way, showing that elusiveness that you had mentioned, and he picks up nine and a first down. Play fake. McLean has it. Avoids the first tackle. Gets a block from D.J. Hall. Fights his way to midfield. Coyle, 11 of 13 for 255. Draw play. Darby. Scoots by the first man. Still on his feet. Down at the 18-yard line. McLean will come to the near side. Nick Walker, the tight end, is tight to the right. Now that's McLean in motion. Good block by Darby. Coyle got a man. Touchdown, Alabama. Might have seen Jamel Cornelius limp off. He's not on the field. Here's Leak out of the backfield to Sean Wynn. Gets a good block from Lance Butler. And Wynn is uh, all the way up to the 28-yard line. Alabama again with three down. They've got six on the line. They bring four. Leak steps up. Got a man open. It's Baker. Great, great catch. And a first down at the 45-yard line. Here's Leak. Right side. And that catch is made. Dallas Baker. Still running free down the sidelines and is out of bounds at the 21, I believe. Leak finds a receiver, and there is a penalty down at the 18-yard line. We might get offensive pass interference on this play. It looked like Dallas Baker pushed off on Ramsey Robinson. Holding 31 on the defense. The penalty declined. The play gained more than the yardage would have. First down. Leak keeps it. Down at the 10. Tackle made by Jawan Simpson, number 42. Skyler Thornton comes wide to the left side. Fourth down and three. Leak. Diving catch incomplete. Diving try incomplete. Chad Jackson again. And this is the most frustration I've seen out of Chris Leak in a long time. Second and ten. There's another miss. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's, he's fun to watch. I mean, he's not overly big. He's 205 pounds. Three seconds on the play clock. They do get it snapped. Three-man rush by Florida. Coyle fires it left side. Caught by Keith Brown. Called down by Kyle Jackson. But that's another Alabama first down. Nine for touchdowns on 11 coming into the game. There's a flag down. Darby around the corner. Tyrone Prothrow down there to help block, but I bet this is coming back. Jeremy Schatz is on the punt. Ooh, beauty. Vernell Brown at the 40. Guess who? D'Amico Ryan. Yeah, he doesn't miss. That's the second or third time we've seen short arms. Here's Leak. That one caught at the 35-yard line. Simeon Castile makes the catch in front of Chad Jackson. 
Ryan's blitzing. Lee gets by him, finds Dallas Baker. And the tackle is made up at the 50, but that easily accomplishes the first down. That's a gain of 15 yards. On fourth, they go for it. Leak, Chad Jackson, that'll be close. See where the spot close. is. I think he may have gotten it. Leak, incomplete, but there's going to be holding, I'm sure. Gavin Dickey was the intended receiver. He's the third string quarterback. And Alabama brings only three, but that pressure forces Leak outside. It's intercepted. Picked off by Ramsey Robinson, and he's got blocking help. Robinson inside the 45, out of bounds at the 41. His first interception of the year, the second that Leak has thrown in this game and in this season. But not in any arrogant way at all. Here's Coyle throwing it sacked. At the 50. And every time he goes down like that, you can hear a collective breath there. <laughs> One of those touchdowns was a punt return. Here's Coyle. Blitz coming. Coyle goes right. Pulls up. Drills it. One hopper. Incomplete. Fourth down. Brody Coyle's pass. It's an interesting play right there on the sideline. Brody Coyle was roughed by Jeremy Mincy. And immediately, two or three Alabama offensive linemen went right to his aid. Jimmy Johns is in at running back. Gets the handoff on the ground play. Young man who made his uh, mark as a high school quarterback. And pressed into service as a running back now. And on fourth down, Brody Croyle. Well, they apparently are going to go for it unless he's going to pooch good. Nope. Pumps. Throws it. Got a man. It was dropped, but there's a flag. I thought Prothrow had it. And he doesn't look good. Prothrow looks hurt. Mm -hmm. Remember Wesley Britt? Third and six. Draw play. Johns. Good for the defense. Johns, however, breaks. Across the five, that'll set up a fourth down. Well, it's clock. clock it's exactly. also making Florida go the whole field. You don't need more points necessarily. You want the clock to run, and you want Florida to have to go 95 plus yards to score any points. About an hour east of Birmingham. Here's Leak with a handoff. It goes to Deshaun Wynn. He goes left. Roman Harper will make the tackle, but not until Deshaun Wynn. Wynn forces him out of his forced out of bounds. Up the middle, Deshaun Wynn goes left. Nice tackle made by Anthony Madison, number nine. Here's Leak. Left side this time. Casey is open and makes the catch and then dives toward the uh, first down chain, but he comes up a little bit short. It's fourth and two. Four man rush. Ryans is coming. Lee goes left incomplete. Ball goes over on downs. Incomplete. Mom and dad met and married at the University of Alabama. His mom was a cheerleader here. No doubt where he was going to go. Hand off to Jimmy Johns. Flag is down. This one will come back. Well, I'll tell you what, Alabama has had a lot of good football plays called back today by penalties. He is very little for a punter. I mean, tiny guy. He's he's not big. 5'7", but strong leg. 5'7", 148. Who was doing the gator chomp right in his face. <laughs> Josh Portis is in at quarterback. And here is uh, the run to the left side. 103. Portis with the pitch. 
Now, how shocked are you by this? Or were you? I am shocked. I thought I, I thought Alabama had a really good chance to win the football game because of their defense and Brody Coyle. I am shocked that it's this type of a score. Tell you what we don't need is the throat slashing gesture we just got from DJ Hall. Florida still has a lot to play for, make no mistake. I mean, they uh, still have a game with LSU, a game with Georgia at the end of the month, who's undefeated right now in the SEC. Could be the final play of this one. Portis will run it. Final play of the game. Portis with the pitch. Nyan Botan is tackled. Alabama wins it. To go to 5 and 0. Oh. Led by a brilliant effort from Brody Coyle. Celebration in Tuscaloosa will go on long into the night. We'll help you begin the celebration when we come back to Bryant Denny Stadium right after these messages.